inflammation is actually a protective mechanism elicited by our immune system, which fights off any kind of a foreign agent that tries to invade our body. This agent could be a bacterium, virus, parasite, or even a dust particle. For this reason, inflammation is called the first-line defense in our body. On the other hand, persistent, chronic inflammation can lead to tissue damage, which will eventually result in a variety of disease conditions. Persistent, low-grade, chronic inflammation is the key factor behind the pathogenesis of cardiovascular disease. And it is also associated with the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Obesity and insulin resistance, as well as certain neurological conditions like dementia and depression. Interestingly, certain foods can trigger inappropriate inflammatory responses in our body. Frequent uptake of these foods can lead to persistent, chronic inflammation and associated disease conditions. So, in this video we are going to look at six types of foods that can trigger inflammation in our body. Number 1. Sugar and high fructose corn syrup. These two ingredients are the major types of added sugar in Western diet. One sugar molecule is made up of one glucose and one fructose molecule. Our intestine absorbs glucose and fructose separately into the body. This fructose content is the major culprit behind inflammation. Fructose can be metabolized only by the liver. So, when the fructose content in the body is too high and liver cannot handle this, some of this fructose is converted to free fatty acids. The metabolic products of free fatty acids are found to play a role in triggering inappropriate inflammation in the body. Some of the foods that have a high sugar content include sugar sweetened beverages, chocolates, donuts, cookies, and certain types of cereals. Number 2. Foods high in trans fat. Artificial trans fats are likely the unhealthiest fats you can eat. Foods that are high in trans fats include French fries and other types of fried fast foods. Some varieties of microwave popcorn. Certain types of margarines. Packaged cakes. Cookies. And literally any food with partially hydrogenated fat. Unlike naturally occurring trans fats that are found in dairy products and meat, artificial trans fats have been shown to cause inflammation and increase the disease risk. Consumption of artificial trans fats is linked to high levels of inflammatory markers, such as C-reactive protein. Trans fats also reduce the amount of HDL cholesterol, which is the good type of cholesterol in our blood. In addition, trans fats may impair the function of endothelial cells that line the blood vessels, which is a risk factor for heart disease. Number 3. Foods high in omega-6 fatty acids. Omega-6 fatty acids are essential for the normal growth and development. However, excessive intake of these fatty acids will induce inappropriate inflammation in our body. Some of the foods that are high in omega-6 fatty acids include canola oil corn oil, mayonnaise, and sunflower oil. Number 4. Refined carbohydrates. Refined carbohydrates are commonly found in candy, bread, pastries, cookies, sugary beverages, pasta, cake, and certain types of cereals. The problem of refined carbs is that they are produced by removing most of their fiber content. So, they have a high glycemic index. We know that foods with a high glycemic index can raise blood glucose levels more rapidly than other foods. Therefore, these foods can drastically promote inflammation. Number 5. Processed meat. Consumption of processed meat is associated with an increased risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and stomach and colon cancer. Common types of processed meat include sausages, bacon, ham, and smoked meat, and beef jerky. Processed meat can significantly promote inflammation because they contain a large amount of advanced glycation end products. In addition to above-mentioned types of foods, excessive alcohol consumption is another major cause for inflammation and associated disease conditions.